Hey, what's going on guys? Harry here. Sorry I haven't put together a video in a while. Been pretty busy with school and everything. But just wanted to give you guys an update on what my training's been like. So I'm doing that competition on June 5th in New Jersey, USAPL meet. And started my prep at nine weeks out. So I'm working with my coach, Joe Stanick again, who I worked with for my last competition in January. And we decided to, <clears throat> decided to go with a nine week prep and it's like a three week wave periodization type thing. So it's not just like a few like four week intensif intensification block and four week peaking block. So it's a little bit different breaking things down into three week blocks pretty much. So getting right into it, the first week things really weren't moving too well. I was coming off a deload here and I just wasn't feeling good. Wasn't feeling like 100% with my training. Getting back into like higher volume training, I was still pretty sore going into my strength days, which are towards the end of the week for squat and deadlift. And hitting hypertrophy days earlier in the week really fatigued me, especially coming off a of deload. I was just a lot more sore than usual. But either way, I was really happy, to, happy with the way that things moved. And I know that as I readjust to the training volume, that things will start moving just a little bit better. So moving into week two here, I was hitting doubles at I think like 87 or 88%, actually 86%. The first week was 84% for all my top sets for triples. The second week was 86% for doubles here. All the RPEs were pretty low, around like eight or so. I think it was a little higher the first week just because I wasn't feeling great as I said before. But things were moving pretty well here. I was really happy the way that my bench moved. Bench in general hasn't been feeling great for me for probably a few years, but lately it just hasn't been comfortable no matter like what I do. So I've really been playing around with my grip now that I'm still like five or six weeks out from this competition. But as I get a little closer, I'm definitely gonna wanna keep all of that as consistent as possible leading into the meet. So squats moving pretty well here. Happy with the way that these looked and felt. I shifted a little bit towards my toes there, but overall I was really happy with how quickly these squats are moving. And again, I'm looking forward to intensifying my squat specifically just because at my last competition I hit 479 or 480, and that definitely wasn't a true one rep max. So I'm really looking forward to pushing myself a little bit more in this upcoming meet. Deadlifts here feeling good. Deadlifts haven't been feeling as good. I've always been more confident with my deadlift in general. Even in like past competitions, I don't think I've ever missed a deadlift in competition, knock on wood. Don't want to jinx myself because I'm really confident with my deadlifts usually. But I've been feeling a lot more confident with my squats as of late. And I think that's just because I finally found the form that's, or like my technique with low bar. Finally been a lot more comfortable for me. And I just think in general it's going to help me get a lot more weight on the platform and add to my total a really good amount. So moving into week three, this was at Frank's gym actually in Baltimore. This was the weekend of his powerlifting meet and that single moved pretty well. I was really happy with that. Happy with that. And then moving on here to squats and deadlifts for this week. Things again just moving well. This was 88% for a single so really not that high intensity for the amount of reps I'm doing and things are moving well so really looking forward to the next six weeks of prep and I can't wait to see what type of performance I can put together on the day of the meet. Thanks for watching guys and I'll try to document the rest of my prep leading up to the competition and we'll see you in the next one.